Hi, here's a small video um, discussing the potential restoration of a low air pressure warning light which is found in many Magira Stoitz trucks. Um, this is out of my S3500 and I know a similar light is fi found in many different Magira's trucks. So just going to talk through a couple of things that um, I've done with the restoration of this light. First of all, the housing is made of Bakelite. This was covered in paint in my truck, and this has had a clean up with some wet and dry sandpaper um, of a fine grade, like about a thousand grade, a thousand grit, and that's um, come up nicely. And one of these uh, posts was loose, and I've tightened that up, and that's about as nice as I can get that, but it's quite a nice finish on the Bakelite now. That's that piece. Secondly, the rim again was covered in paint and that's been cleaned up. Um, some of the chrome has come off, uh, which can't be helped and we're through to the brass below. But the main problem with this, with these rings is that they're thin and once the pressure goes, you can see they crack. And this is cracked on each side. I hope one day to find a nicer ring, but for now I've got to use what I have and this is the ring I have. So it's cleaned up quite nicely and it looks authentic. What I've had to do with the cracks is I've had to make some very small little repair patches. Hopefully we can get a bit of focus and there we go. That's nice. And we can see the repair patch there and the same on the other side. And what I've done to repair this and give strength to where it's cracked is I've used some very, very, very thin stainless steel plate and I've shaped it to fit and then I have glued it in um, using a glue similar to super glue but it's more of an industrial super glue and it really has strengthened up this ring. Now for the for the thin stainless steel I'd recommend if you ever throw away an old microwave or an old um, dishwasher those appliances are full of very, very thin stainless steel. And whenever I throw one away, I will always just quickly cut out some of that stainless steel and for the workshop, because it's really, really useful to have that very thin grade stainless steel for these little types of repairs. And it's free if you're throwing away an appliance like that, there's a free supply of it. So that's very useful. But that has strengthened that up nicely and that works well. So you can do these little repairs and it does give it the strength to work. The fixings are as standard mild steel and they rust. This is the size that you would need for one of these lights. It's a M3 by 10 millimeter and it's a raised slotted countersunk screw. And I've bought these, these are, these are inexpensive. I've bought these marine stainless steel A4 and then you get the nice little screws. They're exactly the same as the originals in style, but they're in stainless steel, so they're not going to rust in. Finally, the this is my original lens, and as you can see, it's it's pretty um, unhappy. It's got a big crack down it, and the surface finish is horrible. So I decided not. I didn't want to use that. I then cut these lenses. This is attempt two and three, which I was reasonably happy with, and these were cut out of. Um, a, an old Toyota light which I had and um, I cut these lenses out of a broken Toyota light and shaped them to fit and I was reasonably happy with them they certainly do the job but I wasn't totally happy with them and I thought something could be better so I after a while of searching the internet I found that this is a light from a Scania truck and it's called, a, it's actually made by Hella, and it's called a Hella, Hella Lollipop Light, and it goes in the back of different Scania lorries. Now, a genuine Hella one is going to be expensive, and also it's going to be, on a genuine Hella one, you're going to have a lot of writing on it um, that's, you know, scribed in with the Hella brand. Now, this is a Chinese repro, which is available on eBay. And the joy of the repro is, is that it hasn't got any writing on it. It's a nice smooth lens. Now, as soon as I saw this, I thought that is going to be perfect to make uh, the right lens for this. And voila, here is my 
lens which has been cut out. I marked it and I used a Dremel uh, with a little cutting disc on it to cut it out. I cut it ever so slightly bigger than I would need by literally a millimetre and then because I, I wanted to finish the final edge with um, a hand file to make it really nice and smooth and then obviously drill the holes and I am super pleased with that. I mean, it's actually a much nicer lens than the original anyway. And if we place it in here, I mean, it really does look the part. It looks really, really smart. It looks original, um, you know, like it was always uh, the original lens. It's perfect with the, with the circle pattern and really does look nice. So I'd recommend that. I'm really pleased with that find. And it's not difficult to... Um, to cut that out, you know, you, uh, I, I, what I did is I took the, the lens that way and then I placed this on it to see which ring it was going to be. I drew around it in a felt, in a felt tip pen as a guide. And then I used the Dremel with the cutting disc to carefully cut it out. And I say slightly bigger than needed to be safe and then finish it off nicely with a, with a, with a, with a smooth file, just used a standard metal file. And that really is a nice lens for these. So if you do have one of these lights in your truck and your lens looks a little bit like this, then you might want to um, make one of these really pleased. And with the with the stainless screws, it'll be set off really nicely. So that is my video for the restoration of one of these air pressure warning lights for a Megira Stoitz. I hope that some of you find it useful.